Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So this week I got to participate in Doc Cincy's uh, Real VR Fishing Derby. And if you don't know what that is, it is a fishing derby that Doc Cincy puts on. And he, he posted on his Real VR Fishing Facebook page, and I will leave a link in the description so you can go out and check it out. And what he does is he brings three competitors in at a time. He picks an individual fish that we have to fish for. And then we have 30 minutes to go out and catch that fish. And whoever catches the most of that individual fish, we go on to the next round. Um, so on my round, we went after the yellowfin croaker, a guy that's swimming around down there. And normally I would go through and I would tell you, okay, here's how you catch it and here's how to find it. Uh, it was a little different for me on this round because, you know, I, I'm in a competition, so I don't <laughs> want to talk out loud on how I'm trying to catch this fish. So at the beginning of the video, you're going to see me going through the fish menu and I'm, I'm looking, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the different bait that it likes. And then I'm going to go through, I'm going to check all the other fish around. What I'm doing is I'm trying to determine how I can spot that fish and try to not spot any of the other fish. So I don't get it mixed up with any of the other fish. And what I ended up doing was, of course, I'm using the spinner because I, I find that it, it works great with the spinner. And I'm looking for a fish that's a dim fish. It's not going to be bright. So it's, you know, the bright fish is going to be on top. This fish is not on the top. It's on the bottom in the middle. So then I'm looking for a dim fish that's a uh, medium-sized fish that's yellow or uh, green on the spinner. So uh, you'll see in the video at the very beginning that I'm going to be looking through all the different fish and looking at the yellowfin croaker and I go catch a couple fish and then I come back and I readjust and then I finally get dialed in on what I want to catch. So you'll see that in the video. Um, hopefully it's entertaining for you. Hopefully it helps you out on how you can better spot fish. So maybe if you join this derby sometime, this will help you figure out, okay, here's, here's the process on trying to find this fish so that I can try to catch as many as possible. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, if you do, make sure to give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It will help me a lot. Uh, I have a lot of people that watch my videos and don't subscribe. And it would, it would really help me a lot if everybody would subscribe so they can come back. And it would also help you. So you can come back and watch any of my tips and tricks videos that I do. Or, you know, when they come out with the new DLCs, of course, I'll be posting how to catch those rares and epics on the new DLCs. And any other fish, if you want to hear um, how to catch a specific fish, leave it in the comments below. And I will, uh, of course, do a video and show you how to catch that specific fish. Um, so... Let's go ahead and uh, jump into the tournament. Enjoy. You're going to be fishing for the yellow fin croaker. That is worth yellow one point. Yellow fin croaker. Yellow fin croaker. That is worth one point. If you choose to try to go for epics, you can. You can fish on whatever difficulty you want. The only thing you may not do is fish underwater. So I've epics are worth that. two. The yellow fin croaker is worth one. So if we can't fish underwater, then we have to use a bobber, right? Well, no. By fishing underwater, I mean manipulating your guardian so you can be underwater seeing the fish. Because if you're oh. underwater and you had something besides a yellowfin croaker, you could let it off the line sooner than trying to figure out if you've got a yellowfin croaker. That's what I mean oh, by fishing okay. underwater. Yeah, so you can fish lure, uh. float. You just can't manipulate your guardian to be beneath the game. Okay. So let me try to get this going here on the Facebook Live. All right, we should be live. Cool. And let me get my score sheet into the game. There's my score sheet. Like I said, I'm going to try to be up as high as possible. All right, so 30 minutes as soon as the level loads. Okay. No, we're going to it now. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, same to you. Yeah, good luck. So, well, we will call it. We'll we'll end. It's 6.59, so we will finish right at 7.30. So, okay. get a couple extra seconds planning, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't affect you guys if you guys had 30 seconds more than the other group because you're all competing against each other. Yellow Vin Croakers are worth one. Epics are worth two. 
How you do that? Okay, okay. Croker, croker, croker. I'd be tempted to walk into another room and try and center up between you all, but I don't want me to bounce myself out of the game or something wacky. I don't even see no croker. It's on the first page. On the first page. Fish. Yeah. So it's the second row on the first page, on the very on the very end. Oh, second row on the first page. Mhm. Mm on the very end. VR Fisherman is from Kansas. T Chef, where are you from? I'm from upstate New York in the Adirondacks. All right, upstate New York, Seamus. There we go. Can get it to bite. <laughs> that time it bit. My score sheet right there. There's a the fish over right. there, but. And of course, we got a it's shark. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can land it if you want. Uh, I guess nope. I will. In the event of a tie, which we did have in um, the other night, it will be a one fish fish off. I will pick a there fish. The first person to catch that fish wins the tiebreaker. Oh, See if I get the shark again. <laughs> Watch me not get the fish. Nice job. Even though what was he? It's pretty big. There you go. Fire's oh, you got a... We got one. Hey. I must have the wrong bait. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put I the score in the correct spot there. Mm. Well, normally I would walk you through on what to do, but <laughs> <laughs> might be counterproductive when you're competing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to talking my way through it, so right. that my viewers <laughs> can do the same thing. I ain't catching nothing. I put it on. I still should get a bite. Let me see. 
Cause I got the wrong bait. I got the krill C. Hell, I can't find it. Well, at least that was my personal best. <laughs> <laughs> when I was fishing with um, the group two nights ago, um, uh -huh. when I was fishing for their target fish along with them because it was just the two of them. So I fished along. Um, I caught my personal best of that, that one. <laughs> there we go. Croker. Tammy got one. I know. I can't find a bait. You might have one. Yep. I don't know what bait you have to use. Keep trying to give. This is kind of new fish. to me. <laughs> <laughs> Metal jet. Dang, it's the first time I ain't never caught no fish this time. <laughs> You know, I think everybody might be in trouble now. I think Heath's got it figured out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just got to figure this out. So is everyone else, did they get a brief glimpse that spring actually might be here and then it turned back to winter for them? No, yeah, it's, it's really nice. up here now. Ugh. I opened up my pool the other weekend. Um... I mean, it was, you know, mid eighties and then, and, you know, just, you know, May crop and we've had like five days in a row now that lows have been in the thirties, wow. all the, all the warm water gone. And it's supposed to rain every day this week, but it's supposed to be like in the sixties and seventies here. So. Not yeah, we're bad. doing our first um, race since everything shut down with COVID this Saturday, and it's supposed to be cold and rainy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, another one. Barracuda. Wow. Did you see somebody posted another shark method? Uh -uh. No. Yeah. He's like, catch six fish and then go to another map. Catch six fish and go to another map. I was like, I guess I'll have to try so that. So I've, I've like done that. Either. That's that's kind of like what I was talking to you about, like refreshing. You can only refresh the maps by changing right. the level now. So what I do, I do something similar. I don't do six fish and then move. 
Um, but I do move every time I catch a shark now. So I'm always starting with a fresh level because you can't refresh the level anymore within the level. Yeah, so I messed again? around with I. So you like if I was fishing on here or, or all of us, I could just since I'm the room host, I could pull up the map and just hit 18 and hit go, and it would take us like we were coming to 18 for the first time. So when um, when I I would not reset my fish by changing the difficulty back and forth, I would reset my fish by relaunching the whole level. But you could do it without leaving. But with this last update, they took that ability away, and I don't know why. Uh, so now, if you want to refresh a whole level, you got to actually switch levels. So uh, I started. So what I do now is every time I catch a shark, I just switch to a different level. So, but I did what that person was talking about, um, Heath. But I wouldn't do it every mm -hmm. six. I think I would do about 12. And if I didn't mm -hmm. get a shark, I would just go to the next level, you know, about no, 12. I, I didn't, know. I didn't count, I you know, 12. One. I just, you know, would, you know, I would, you know, about, you know, three or four minutes, no, you know, no fish and then move on. I would like to try and manipulate my guardian one time on 20 and get that airplane to fly right through me. <laughs> I just haven't taken the time to, to set it up. Like I'd have to do the opposite of what I did just here because it always passes on your left. So I need to get up in the air. I think this would be about the right height where I am now, maybe just a tad higher yeah. and offset to the left. And I think I could get that plane to fly right through me. I used to be able to get way higher though, and now the game gets a little glitchy. Um, I used to be able to get almost up to the the top of my my sailboat. I'll see if I can get a little higher, maybe get a little different perspective. Let me add that croaker for you. No matter what I do, it shouldn't kick me out of the room. I just might get stuck somewhere. Or it might bounce me like back down lower or something Let's see what I get here yeah yeah no I'll just keep going up Let's see where I get <laughs> yes yeah, so you see it, it it readjusts me down now ah uh -huh. So now yeah. I, I've gone up a whole story in my house, and now I'm lower than I just was. And my score sheet's over there in the wrong place, and... <laughs> Messed it all up. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to go back down, and now I'm afraid I'm going to be, like, under the water when I <laughs> get back down. <laughs> Let me add your croaker. Another croaker. Let's see if I got it. No! Oh, well. Oh, yeah, see, now I'm all. Well, brought me still. I'm still up here a little high now. Okay. This works. I'm almost standing on Heath, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Looking over my shoulder. <laughs> We just hit the halfway point, 15 minutes to go. VR Fisherman is up eight to Tammy's one to Shirley's zero right now. 
Yeah, I don't know what changed with um, with how high you could go in the air with the Guardian, because I used to get up and walk on the, the roof of my lodge, and now when I get about to the right height where my head is just kind of peeking up through the ceiling, if I go any higher, um, it resets me, just plops me back down to the floor. Hmm. Mm. Reset. He's way out there. Okay, come on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> yep. Reminds me of playing with, um, she used to do the leaderboard all the time. Fear me, I'm good. And I say, here, sharky, sharky, sharky. <laughs> over and over. <laughs> that was her calling card. Was Been here, there, sharky, done sharky, that. Sharky, sharky. <laughs> so, no, that guy who's doing the, you know, cast six times or, you know, hook six fish and move on, I, I think he's on to something. Like I said, I played around yeah. with it. I do think when the level is fresh, for whatever reason, it just seems like you got a better odds on a shark. And that, you know, that could be programmed in. I, you know, Mirage Soft said that, you know, they've never changed anything. So maybe that's how it's always been. Um, yeah. It certainly seems that way to me. I could, it seems like I, you know, when I get up and start my day, I can't tell you how many days I catch a shark on my very first cast. Well, heck, when we started this, my first one was a shark. <laughs> yep. Well, and other people report, it seems like, you know, when they're they're in a multiplayer room and somebody joins, it seems like they catch a shark right away, it seems to a lot of people. So, could be something, could just all be random and we're just imagining Last it. tournament, that's all I did was catch sharks. Yeah? Couldn't catch nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I think sharks should be worth four points. <laughs> I thought about bringing sharks into it, um, but it's just, it's more random than anything. I mean, if anyone yeah. who's skilled at the game decently can land all the sharks now, and I would hate to come down to, you know, somebody just got on, you know, a lucky stretch and, you know, caught, you know, had like a 30 minute period and pulled in like three or four sharks. So I just left them out. They're not, they're not going to be in the finals either. And the finals will be a little bit different format, and it's going to be longer as well. Still going to be target fishy. You're not going to know the fish until I announce it, but it, I'm going to change it up a little bit. It'll make sense when I announce it all. Cool. Wow. That's so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to catch some rooster fish or something. I really wish they would rotate this map a little bit so about half the bridge was visible. I understand yeah. not facing it like they had it set up originally where you were square right in the middle of the bridge, but just turn us a little turn so it's, you know, visible while you're fishing. Going I think it would be nice. It was a tuna, but it got off.
No. I think. Maybe I can get kind of in the middle of you all if I go this way. Here, let's see here. Maybe I've got over here. Well, I'm just kind of on Keith's oh, other side. Well, now, now, we're, now I'm nowhere near my score sheet. Everything's gone. <laughs> I'm back on my boat. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it's like it remembers partially where you were and stuff and bounces you around. Yeah, so yeah, because now I'm back over here and it popped me back up. It's got like a memory now. I don't know. I do miss being able to get on top of my lodge. That was a neat view from up there. Our baseball team is abysmal. No, 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 no! Oh, why do I we've keep won doing three that? games? I think it's our worst start ever. I know it was. A, I know it was our. We were off to our second worst start ever in franchise history. I think we might be our worst now. I don't know. Mm, that sucks. But we sold all of our offensive players. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, there was. The good, I mean, the good thing is, you know, some people were complaining um, about, you know, you know, the games and attendance, and I'm like, you know, shoot, that that works out perfect for me because I really don't care if we win or lose. I like just going and being there. So, right. you know, especially when it gets to be August, September, when the kids are back in school, you can get the forty-five and sixty-dollar seats for you know ten and fifteen bucks. Um, and then, if you really want, you can get the fifteen dollars seats for about five bucks. <laughs> and then at that point, you know, you can really just you know buy the fifteen dollars seats for five bucks and go sit in the sixty dollars seats. That's what we normally do at the end of the season when no one's going. Yeah, I haven't been watching the Royals or anything this year. I'm pay much attention so i don't know how i thought doing. and maybe maybe they're talking about it i thought they were getting rid of the shift i thought they were banning it in mlb um but they're definitely not unless it's unless it's for and let maybe they're so like when you know when there Votto, it goes again when Votto bats for us you are he's left-handed you know they shift Maybe you're allowed to shift based on what handed the batter plays. Maybe you're not allowed to shift based on, you know, all these psychometrics that tell you where the player hits the ball. I don't know. He has gotten a little prescriptive these days. You know, because Major League Baseball, you know, wants high-scoring games. You know, they want yeah. people to be excited. Nobody wants to watch, you know, eight-hit games. See a bunch of three-to-two, three-to-nothing games. Okay, use a spinner and look for a small green dim fish. There you go. <laughs> Give me a little clue there. A spinner. Yep, use a spinner and look for a green fish, a small green fish. And it's going to be dim. It'll never be bright. bright. It'll never be bright green because it's never on the top of the water. It's going to be middle or bottom. So then let your spinner sink a little bit. Oh, shoot. I don't think I can. Oh, let me grab my. Let me grab my pole. I wonder if it'll let me fish from cast. up there. That's happened to me before. Uh, Keeps keeps bouncing my pole back. You're murdering those croakers. <laughs> yeah. Now, 
I might, even, so if I catch a fish, here's the other problem I might face. But I might not be able to click the menu to keep or release it could be my problem. And if that's the case, I won't even be able to keep score anymore. Because I can't, I won't be able to do anything uh. except shut my game off. So maybe I, maybe I won't catch a fish. Oh, I got a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Two sharks this round. I'll bring it in. <laughs> Yeah, because if you're too far away from your spot when you land a fish, you can't keep or release it. And that was to combat when people were not catching their fish. They were actually walking out into the water to where their fish was, and they could just bring it in right away. Uh. So that's how they fixed that. If you're too far away from where the game thinks you're supposed to be, you can catch the fish. You just can't keep or release it, so you can't get the points for it. I can't wait for this player versus player competition mode. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. This year. I'm guessing it's going to be something just like the the multiplayer shooter games where whoever the host kind of gets to make up the rules. Uh huh. You know, you're going to play for this this amount of minutes and maybe, you know, set up custom settings where you have to fish on expert with no line color, no bait, you know, where they get to kind of set the parameters for each match. I think that'll be really fun. That would be cool. And then, you know, that, that way... We could do fishing tournaments like this amongst ourselves. Easily, because then, yeah. you know, people just self-report. You, you group people up and you fish in, you know, head-to-head -head or three-person or four-person matches. And, you know, it would be really easy um, oh, nice shark. to do it like that. Thanks. The cow shark. <laughs> Sea carp. <laughs> oh, I see him right there. Yep. Cool. Oh, nice job. Blunt nose. Yeah, I haven't caught a great white yet. That's all I've caught is blunt nose. I've only caught a yeah. couple of great whites. I haven't caught very many of them. Only caught one um, of them, I think. All so I've far. caught is blunt nose or leopards. I think w when I tallied my sharks the other day, and I got lucky because I went to check my shark count, and I just caught my fi my five hundredth tiger, and I wasn't even keeping track. I hadn't looked at my shark counts, and since I caught my one thousandth shark, I was tracking it then. I think I might have more blunt nose now than tigers. Oh yeah. But before I do, before I started I do. doing my shark research, sh you know, sharks were never my thing. I never purposely tried to catch them until that one when I was done doing research on something. I said, "Hey, does anybody have any projects?" And someone right. said, "Yeah." You know, can you find out if sharks, you know, like certain fish more than others and certain sharks like, you know, certain like you could catch maybe you know, more great whites if you caught a certain fish. And that's how I got on to this whole shark thing. Sharks were never my thing. Oh, wow. I got one, two, five of them out there. <laughs> <laughs> Your cup runneth over with croakers. Shoot, I can <laughs> That happens sometimes. <laughs> that just goes to show the randomness. And then sometimes yep. you might have two or three resets with none. You know, yep. one third of all your fish were just croakers on this, on that refresh. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Did better with the metal dig. Croaker again. Oh shoot. You must have top score now. 
Keith um, has seven any of that money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely of the people who've played. Now it, it also <laughs> varies depending on you know the fish I pick. Um, yeah, like the fish I picked for the group two nights ago, um, I knew the scores were going to be low because you might have to refresh your screen probably <laughs> six, seven, eight shark. times before you would see one. You got another yeah. shark on? Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it in. <laughs> That's three. Oh, and that is time. So we are so score stands seventeen to one to zero. All right, good job. So um, Tammy, oh, Seamus, all the Seamus got one. Oh, well, well, we'll call it a tie, and you two can fish off for second place then. Yeah. Ah, what knows? Goodbye. But I did not. I did not call. <laughs> I was. That was my bad. I did not monitor the time. So let me pick a fish for you two. Let me know when both your lines are in. The Garibaldi, that'd be a good one. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Just one. All right. So let's go, Tammy and Shirley. The next one to catch a California Corbina breaks the tie. Okay. And I'm going to sit down and see if I can't get myself back on my boat and fish. So I'm at least squared up on my boat. Oh, yeah, that's low enough. And actually, I can get do this. Oh, my headset's about dead. I'm glad I saw that. And that off. There we go. Power cord. All right. So, California Corbina breaks the tie for you two. Oh, California Bina. California Corbina. It is first page, bottom right. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't find the bait for that. I'll give you both. Yeah, I the, couldn't I'll find give you the both the that same I hint. For that. It's top water only, so it'll always be a bright color. Oh, Keith. Oh, <laughs> oh, shoot. All I saw all I saw was California Corbina. I thought somebody broke the tie already. It's Keith showing off. Yeah. All right, Tammy Shirley, you're still going for second place. And whoever comes in second, all the second place people are going to get a second try. And one third place person is going to get a second try because I'm one person short to get everything set up. I got so. a shark though. A shark took my... Yep. That is up to you whether you land the shark or not. It's not worth anything.
Oh. Try to treat my line right as it was turning red. Heath, have you ever noticed sometimes when you're doing the a quick retrieve that if you let go in time as your line's turning red, you won't get the um, vibration, but you'll your bobber will still go under. Uh uh. Yeah. It's like when you quick retrieve just a little too early, but you can see your line turn red. I'm not casting far enough, I don't think I am. It'll stay red, but you won't um you won't get the physical notification. Hmm. not caught many of that giant bass. I get it more than any of the other epics around here. I don't like... I think it looks funny when it jumps. It has that kind of weird curl to it. So when um, when they had the board set up where you're facing the bridge everything was so up close. That giant... that giant sea bass <laughs> look like a freaking shark grab. <laughs> it was so big. <laughs> hey, you got your butt nose. Oh, are you? Oh. I know. I'm fishing on top. There we go. Tammy breaks the tie. So Tammy, make sure you watch out for after. So after everybody fishes, we should be done on Sunday. Um, <laughs> another shark. So another after, shark. when we get done on Sunday, you know, I'll post about all the second place players and who they're going to fish against. And then I'll explain okay. how we're going to move on from there to the final, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you for playing. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Nice playing with you guys. Yep. Same here. Oh, you got a rooster. Nice rooster, Chance. All right. Take care, everybody. I'm oh, heading off to the end of the okay. cumulative scores. Yep. I'm going to head Bye. out. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Well, there you go. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. And if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So... Hopefully this was entertaining for you. Again, this is just the round one for me. I will be participating in another round, hopefully another couple of rounds. So going into the finals, hopefully, and hopefully winning the game. But uh, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't done so already, please go out and check Doc Sensi's uh, Real VR Fishing Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go out and check it out. That's where he's going to be posting all of the uh, updates for the competition so you can go out there and check it out and then you'll also be able to sign up for future ones he's done this uh, he did this last year and 
you know, I'm sure he'll do more and more of these. He really enjoys doing these, I believe. So, uh, and I know I've enjoyed participating in it so far. And I can't wait to, uh, to participate in the next round. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.